G'day, welcome to the Tech and Math channel, I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be looking at three ratios, tips and tricks. Well, let's go. Now we're gonna start out nice and easy. This is not so much of a trick, more of a tip. An example, something like this, where we're dividing an amount into a given ratio. So divide $32 into a ratio of seven is to one. Now, this means that one person's getting seven parts and the other person is getting one part. So the first thing we do is we look how many parts all together. So we look over here and we add these two numbers together. Seven plus one is equal to eight. There's eight parts all together. Now what we do is we get our $32, $32, and we divide it by this number of parts. So 32 divided by eight, that means that each part is equal to $4. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, we know that one person here is getting seven parts, so they're getting seven times $4, and this other person is getting one part. So they're just getting one times $4. So what does each person get? Seven fours is $28, and one times four is $4. There you go, the question's been answered. And you can check it by just adding these guys together. 28 plus four is equal to 32. So we know that we've you know, done this pretty well. So that's the first tip on how to do these. So let's have a look at the second tip and trick. And this one is a bona fide trick. These are where we're going to be looking at questions where we compare two ratios. An example is something like this. If x is to y is two is to seven, and y is to z is four is to nine, find x is to z. Now the way we attack these is pretty simple. The first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to write this out again. So first off we have x is to y, and this is two is to seven, and we have y is to z, and this is four is to nine. Now we're going to be trying to work out x is to z. The way we do this is pretty simple. Pretty much what we do is we are just going to multiply down. So first off, we have two times four. Two times four is equal to eight, and now we have seven times nine, which is equal to 63. Uh, there you go, and that is our answer, okay? Uh, x is to z is eight is to 63. You literally just multiply these guys down like that. So why does this work? Well, in order to actually compare these two fractions, we have to compare using this value of y here. And as you can see, y has a value of seven here and a value of four. And we have to make these two equivalent here. So the way we do this is we'd multiply this entire ratio by four and we'd multiply this entire ratio by seven and it would end up making uh, these two values for y uh, equivalent. Two times four gives us eight. Seven times nine gives us 63. We have our answer. Now, if you like this video so far, please remember, do us a solid, hit the like button, leave a comment, maybe become a patron, maybe become a subscriber, and stay tuned for the third tip and trick because this one is a real bona fide trick for much, much more complex questions. So for our final trick, this is one where we're going to be comparing three ratios. We have, if A is to B, equals two is to three, and B is to C is four is to five, and C is to D is six is to seven, find A is to B is to C is to D. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this really simply. I'm just gonna start by putting these values up here, the A, the B, the C, and the D. Okay, now first off, to get the A part, what we do is we are just going to multiply these numbers right here, okay? So two times four, times six. Two times four times six, that is going to give us two times four is eight. Eight times six is 48. Cool. Next, what we have is we are going to work out the D value here. So where the A value was here by multiplying all these, we're going to work out the D value by multiplying all these in the right-hand column here. Three times five is 15, times seven is 105. So if you just had to compare A is to D, you'd be able to do this straight away. You would have already done this. But the ones in the middle, B is to C. Let's go through and do this now. Now, the way that we're gonna do this is as follows. We are working out B first. Now B, we're going to be working out, first off, we're gonna go B times B times the C here, okay? In that pattern there, B times B times C. So three times four times six. Three times four is equal to 12, times six is equal to to 72. To get the C part of our ratio, what we're going to do is we're going to do a similar multiplication, but this time we're going to be multiplying B times C times C. 
So let's do this. Uh, B times C times C, we'll follow that pattern. Three times five times six. Five times six is 30, times three is equal to 90. And there you have it, we have our ratio, which is 48 is to 72, which is to 90, which is to 105. Now you can see that this actually has a common factor that goes into it, three goes into this one, and we will get the following, where we get 16 is to 24 is to 30, which is to 35. Now that's nice and easy, just remember that pattern. So the very first one we had was this A here, which was nice and easy, and the D here, which was also nice and easy. For the B part, just remember, we have the B times the B times the C, which went through like this, this pattern here, and for the C part, we had B times C times C, so it went through like that. Cool. There you go, three tips and tricks to do with ratios. Like I said, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to do us a real solid, what about you think of joining the Tech Math channel by hitting the join button that you'll see uh, right near the video here, or you could even become a patron and really truly support the Tech Math channel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching. See you next time.